Hi friends, it's Julia. I'm here to share a kit that I created for Mini Kit Monday. The inspiration was this Ferris wheel with color swatching at the bottom with red, orange, yellow, maybe a teal or a mint, a darker teal or mint, and white um, to go along with the colors of the Ferris wheel. And so what I did, I went through my stash and I found a paper pack from Close to My Heart that has a lot of the same feel, only softer, more toned down colors not so much the red but darker pink um, so I feel like this is a good match for the inspiration so what I did this paper pack includes um, one two three four five six seven so 14 sheets of paper um, it has uh, that's the B sides oh with the exclusion of those two those two are the A sides and then let me show you um, the opposite size that you're getting as well. Really, really cute uh, paper pack. And then this one is the back of that gold stripe there. And it unfortunately has that where you can see where the gold striping is. So I don't think I'll use that on the A side and I don't think, or the B side, and I don't think I'll use this one on the B side. The back side of this one is embossed as well. And I really want to cut into that and use it on a multitude of layouts as well as that one. Um, I don't know if I want to use it on a multitude of layouts or use it as a background. But anywho, so I pulled the kit mostly for the um, B-side papers with this floral paper being um, the one that I'm most inspired by. So I pulled out my trusty list that I put together a while ago. Um, and part of it was based on um, when Chamel was at uh, two peas in a bucket. And so she had put up a video about creating a homemade kit. And so I took her lesson and created my own. And it calls for 10 to 12 pattern papers with the different types of backgrounds, large and small and repeating dots or chevrons, bold patterns, cut apart line, project life cards. All of that is what I've added to as well as some cardstock. I added in, my list calls to add in five sheets of cardstock and that's what I did but I I added in just plain basic white I think they call it daisy white at close to my heart and that's what this is it's just plain uh, white cardstock and it's smooth so I have the 14 sheets of paper I have the five sheets of cardstock so that gives me 19 sheets of paper my next thing to add in are uh, border strips or border elements whether it be washi or border strips um, these papers close to my heart papers come with their branding strip on one side and then the opposite side is something that you can cut off and utilize um, as a border strip and because there's two pieces of each paper you get two patterns of each one like that one has the circles or the polka dots that one has the plaid chevron uh, words across there and that has uh, like a geometric pattern so you see gold striping there and then polka dots there and so I'll use what I can um, from those because I'll cut all those off probably before I start cutting into the paper um, but I you know me I have to have my washi tape included in the kit. So I went through and I found some colors that I felt would match. I found this gold arrow washi tape from Freckled Fawn. These Freckled Fawn, and they're just um, blue with um, the gold foiling on them, triangles, a little uh, wavy chevron, and then triangles. This one, I believe it's Hobby Lobby brand, and it's got gold foiling on it. And then just a plain polka dot from Freckled Fawn. And then a plain polka dot. That one was orange. This one is yellow. Um, and I'm not sure where this one came from. It, I've had it since before I started labeling my washi tape. Uh, two letter stickers is what this calls for. It calls for a large and a small. So what I did was I pulled in two sets of large because, you know, one set's never enough. I need options. I pulled in this pink foam sticker from American Crafts, and it's the Dear Lizzie brand. It's called Fantastic, is the 
name of the uh, font, I guess. They're foam letter stickers. Lots of numbers on this one. Um, and I've used it a, mul a multitude of times, but I still think I can at least get another title or two out of it or in a combination with this one making complete titles. This one is a brand new one to me. I've not used it. It's by EK Success and it's gold foil. It's got lots of numbers on it as well. That's never enough for me. You guys know that. So I had to add in my smaller alphabets. So I added in these orange and white uh, tile letters. And so um, you can see it matches the darker shade of orange, but it's a little bit darker and I'm okay with that. Um, and there's multiple packs in here because when they had a sale, I ordered a multitude of them. And then as I was going through my freckled fawn supplies, I found these. They have uh, white tiles with gold foiling and then there's some uh, additional embellishments. This was a kit, I want to say that came maybe in February of this year. So it has the gold tile letters. It has white with gold foil labels. It's got some uh, orange and pink washi strips and then some enamel dots uh, in yellow. Um, looks like pink and then a, a bit of an orange color. And I had extras, like I said, I had bought extras of the uh, letter tiles. And so I just stuck them in here. So there's two more packs in there. It looks like maybe I've used one pack. Um, but what I don't use will go back into my stash. I'm okay with that because I love the tile letter stickers and I love the quality of the Freckled Fawn uh, brand. Then my next thing on here is an embellishment pack. So I just got some new embellishments in. This one is a Felicity Jane and it's a flocked sticker. I'm hoping you can see that. It's almost like die cut shapes. Let me get it at an angle. There we go, where it doesn't catch the glare. They're almost like die cut shapes, but they're flocked and they're floral images. Uh, and then down at the bottom it says bloom. So I'm gonna try and get those used up. And then I also found a um, happy birthday set. It's a Felicity Jane and it's from the Zoe line. Uh, they're a little bit off white and I'm okay with that. We'll see what we can do. They have pink and blue embellishments in there. So I'm gonna try and get those used. That's never enough, right? Because, yeah, I'm me. I need more. I found this set of Felicity Jane Jenna puffy stickers, and it has the yellow and the softer pink and the blue. Uh, the darker green, I have some darker green in this floral paper, but I don't know. And this has pretty bold black images on that little house and pretty bold black images in there. Maybe I'll get those used, maybe not. We'll see. I'm adding them in though, just for funsies. And of course, not enough. I need more. So I went through my stash and I found this set of Dear Lizzie Thickers. Um, and it's called Darling Details. Um, I'm not sure if that's the name of this package or if that was the name of the line. I don't know. But you can see it has the same feel. It has the, uh, this is more of a green color than this. This is more of a blue color, but it's got the yellow. It's got the pink and the orange and um, the gold foiling. I think I'll be able to get some pieces used and I'm okay if I don't get it all used up. That's not enough. I need more. So I found this set of pink fresh stickers um, and I don't know if it's called Let Your Heart Decide. These are called cardstock stickers. I don't see. Maybe it's Let Your Heart Decide. They're from 2017. They have alpha stickers in here, word phrases, labels, and embellishment stickers. So we'll see um, what I can get used from there. Um, and then um, because that's not enough, I need some more texture items. So what I decided to do was pull in some chipboard. And I didn't pull in a lot of chipboard. I pulled in a couple of little packs. Um, this one from Freckled Fawn as well as this one. This one has an orange flower. This one has a pink flower. And it's got some little gold detailing. Um, and so I may get some of these used. These have white and pink. Um, don't know how much of the... Um, purple I'll get used, but probably none of those, but maybe 
Um, some of them match this darker uh, color on the inside of the flowers. I may be able to get some of those used, but I, I pull those in. So, um, so I think that's enough as far as the stickers and the texture and all that jazz. Well, mostly. Um, because I still need to add in uh, a package of bling or sequins. And so what I did was I was going through my stash and I wanted, I'm trying to use up a lot of the bitty blings that I have. So I added these in and this one freckled fawn kit has some enamel dots in it. Here, I pulled this package of Bitty Bling and then I found this package of pearls. Uh, these are close to my heart, bashful pearls um, that match um, perfectly. So I pulled those in. I'll try and get some of those used up. If I get the whole package used, I'm fine with that. So there. Um, and it called for a stamp. This time I'm not going to add a stamp because I have, I added so much extra embellishment and I'm taking this on a retreat and I don't want to take a lot of ink. So, um, I'm not going to take a stamp. Calls for a tool, uh, die cutting or a punch. I'm going to take lots of those with me as well as my, um, big shot in other kits that I'm taking. So I'm, I don't necessarily need to take anything with this one, but I am going to throw into my bag, um, my favorite border punch and this is a Stampin' Up and it's got a scalloped edge but it's got a little um, doodad in the middle. Just my favorite one. And I'm also going to take my bow stamp, not stamp, um, bow maker punch. Uh, you punch out your pieces and then you create a bow with it. And it's also from Stampin' Up. I plan to take that with me on retreat as well. So that's the tool but no stamp this time. Uh, spray paint or mist. I'm taking in one of my kits, well in a couple of kits I've thrown in some different, um, oh what do you call them, spray mist. Yeah, no I think I'll probably skip that step as well. Wood veneer. Um, I did go, go in and pull in a couple of little pieces. This one from Freckled Fawn, it says I love you on it. It's just a heart shape. And then these, they're asterisks. I don't know what starburst asterisks whatever you want to call them i added those in and then my um original sheet calls for four to six or five to ten pieces of scrap paper um and i added a few more i added a couple of metal pieces as well these um, paper clips that are heart shaped and they have gold on them and then I found these two little flares. I'll have to pull those backers off of them, the little clip on pieces, but I'm going to add those in. Um, and then this twine I'm adding in as well, just for funsies. And then the uh, scrap pieces of paper, I found some different greens, some blues, uh, some oranges and some pinks and a yellow um, all from my stash that I felt would make a, a good match for the background paper. This paper is the one that I'm utilizing for my inspiration. So I have all of those. So I'm going to throw that all together and call it good um, and see what I can create this month with this mini kit as well as my regular kits that um, I'm working with. Um, I'm not going to take May's kit with me on retreat, but I'm going to take this one for sure and see what I can I can create with it this month. Um, and we'll go from there. The girls on that uh, Facebook site have been making uh, three layouts. You share your kit one week and then each successive week of the month, the first Monday of the month, you share a page that you've created. And so that's what I plan to do. So anyway, this is my kit for this month. Um, I hope it inspires you to get your stash out and use it. Um, I have mixed uh, quite a few things. Uh, newer stuff that I have as well as old stuff. Uh, a lot of the newer things that I have are not necessarily brand new, but they're brand new to me. Um, like this paper pack. I've had it in my stash for a long time since 2016 when it came out, but I've not used it. Uh, these flare, or I'm sorry, these chipboard pieces I've had for a long time, haven't used them, so they're new to me. These sets from Felicity Jane, they're new to me, but I think they've been, um, they're an older, well that one's 2018, 2018, and 2017. So they're older collections, but they're new to me. So um, anyway, 
I hope I inspired you to get into your stash and get some of it used up. Um, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.